Can I jump in as, as the only CPA up here? First of all, it's the disgusting to me to hear Casey Cagle down there taking credit for this tax break that we, we passed. That I voted for as well this past session. Donald Trump is the reason we were able to pass this tax break this past session. Casey Cagle was out there pushing Jeb Bush and wouldn't even come out and support Donald Trump during the, during the general election against Hillary. Yet here he is talking about how he pushed for this tax break. He had 12 years as lieutenant governor to do that, and he didn't until Trump did it. As, again, as a CPA, I can go in and identify areas where the Department of Corrections has spent $33 million on construction and process. Nobody knows where that money went. There's billions of dollars that the state is spending every single year that we can eliminate uh, to help save our taxpayer dollars. I want to eliminate the state income tax and move to the fair tax model so we can tax consumption instead of income. Your response. Sadly enough, the viewers are having to listen to a lot of false attacks along with gimmicks and hot air. It's important to understand the facts, please. And that is for anyone to say that I did not support Donald Trump is wrong. And he knows that because I have a picture at the National Republican Convention with him on the floor. But on taxes, it is important that you understand 54% of the revenue that comes to the state right now is through an income tax, along with what Senator Hill is talking about, I promise you, broadening the base to the degree in which he's going to is going to take us from the lowest tax state and it's going to increase our sales tax to be right behind California and I don't believe Georgia wants and to just, be California. Real quickly, real quickly, he was there with me at the RNC and he did speak, but he said, I support the nominee. He did not say, I support President Trump. There's a big difference and we all know that at that point in time.